Hey folks, this is Ben with Ben's Campers here in Monongahela, PA. Today we're taking a look at this for sale 2001 R-Vision Trail Light B23S Hybrid Camper at the lot. And uh, this is an as-is unit that uh, does need some work, but is a really good opportunity for somebody to uh, build a little sweat equity. Uh, this could be a fix and flip for you or a really great little family trailer uh, at a low price. I'm um, asking $24.50 for this one, $2,450. Uh, it's got a clean and clear title, and uh, it's a pretty nice little piece. These little ultralight um, hybrid fiberglass trailers, uh, sometimes they don't hold up too well. This one has been taken care of pretty well. Uh, it does need some roof work. However, uh, there's a really good case to be made for this one to save it. And uh, like I said, do a little sweat equity on this one. Uh, the gel coat on this one's in very good condition. It's not all delammed like a lot of them and falling apart. The trailer shows really well. This is a one owner trailer. So that's a long time really uh, for a single family to own this thing. And they did take pretty good care of it. All the canvases are in very nice shape. Uh, they're a little dirty, the back one in particular, I didn't finish washing it yet. But no rips, no dry rot on them. Uh, chassis and everything's real nice. We are going to put a new set of four tires on this one. They are coming in the mail. And the awning canvas looks nice on this one. I want to show you this. We have all the keys and everything for this one. It's got this little... Uh, roll out storage compartment drawer there that's kind of neat and we're not quite done cleaning this thing out yet but uh, everything's working on this unit uh, stove furnace refrigerator air conditioner hot water all functional uh, it's got an older battery on it but it does hold enough of a charge to run the appliances uh, it's got a nice manually operated slide out. You see the gel coat's in pretty nice shape. This unit does show really well. I've seen a lot of these that are pretty rough looking. Uh, this one is not. The slide is nice and straight. No water damage on the slide. No delamination. Uh, there is a little delam back here. But it's, it's not really bad at all, actually. Not even worth pointing out, but just for the sake of honesty. Uh, all the lights and brakes work. Uh, this wheel here was locking up the brake hub there, so I'm going to pull that apart and see what I can figure out with it. I won't let you go down the road like that. I can disconnect it if worst comes to worse. But you see I didn't finish cleaning the canvas, but it's in very nice shape. Nice and sturdy. Yeah, everything looks good outside. Let's, let's take a look inside. Well, before we get inside, I want to show you the roof. Uh, it's a rubber roof over OSB, and like a lot of these, it does need serviced. Uh, you're gonna need to take the rubber up in at least some of the areas and replace the OSB underneath and do some woodwork. Up front, it is sagging, and I don't know if you can see, but it's ponding some water on there. I'm gonna get it covered. We just had some rain and I was up there cleaning it off. It had leaves on it. So yes, it is leaking up front, uh, slowly but surely. Surprisingly, the water is not just pouring in. Um, but it's going to need service. So let's go inside. Going inside. Uh, this really is a pretty nice little trailer in here. Actually, it's, it's not a little trailer inside. Uh, the floor is nice and solid. It is a little flimsy, the floor. Uh, it's not soft from water damage. It's just, um, an ultralight trailer. They have a quarter inch floor. Um, really nice kitchen area, microwave and everything. AC, and you can see your ceiling around the AC, very nice. No water damage there. The slide out, very nice. The box of the slide is very nice, actually. And it's a manually operated slide. There's a crank under there. Got a futon. Very nice Dometic refrigerator that's working. Now where the floor it was soft was right here. Somebody put a piece of... Just OSB over it. Very nice closets in here. Lots of cabinets. And then you got your own little nook back here where the uh, rear twin bed is. I guess eh, it's like a full bed. So lots of sleeping space in this one. 
And then looking forward, you have even more sleeping space. I mean, that is a huge bed area. This makes a bed, and then that's like a queen or even a king or something up there. You can see it's kind of mildewy. Uh, you'll have to clean that out. We'll, we'll clean it a little bit. Um, yeah, nice table area. And then here the ceiling is bad. This is where the roof is sagging up front. And that ceiling's opened up there. That's going to need taken down and repaired. No, no way around that one. I will note that the floor, a little bit of softness right here. I'd probably just ignore that for now. Same with really the back end. You know, you're not going to make this trailer perfect again. However, this could really be a nice fixer upper for you. It's got a nice bath, three piece uh, shower and everything. Again, ceiling back here is pretty nice. No, it's not soft. Um, I noticed that the roof was soft in the back corner, but that hasn't translated to the ceiling yet. So that's good, but it has made its way down to the floor there. So yeah, this one's going to need some roof work. Uh, this is definitely a unit that's worth fixing uh, with all the great appliances and just how solid and relatively clean it is. Um, and all the room and just a really nice functional little trailer for the price. So appreciate you guys watching as always. Uh, if you're interested in this one, you can uh, call or text me at 412-865-8672. Appreciate it again. God bless.